So in the first part of the video, we talked about self-preparation. So determining what exactly do we want, what kind of work environment we would like to work in, and then preparing our uh, resume or CV accordingly, or maintaining LinkedIn profiles or you know GitHub Stack Overflow, things like that. Now that the self-preparation part is out of the way, we are going to talk about job search, right? So without wasting any further time, let's get started. When it comes to job search, you will have certain options. In my personal opinion, the best option is your friends, right? Always begin your job search with your friends. Why would I say that? First of all, high chances of getting hired. Your chances are much more when your, your profile has been referred by your, one of your friends. Second, you have better understanding of the organization you are going to apply the job at. So your friend will tell you about the pros and cons and that might help you to decide do you really want to you know, work in this particular organization. And let's say in case you do get hired in that organization, you will have a familiar face to help you settle. For me, the first point enough clinches the deal. You have much better chance of getting shortlisted for an interview or getting hired if you go through you, one of your friends or friend of a friend or something like that. Because you will not be walking into an unknown entity. You will not be walking into a complete strange environments and then find out about the pros and cons after already accepting the job offer. Right. So again, this is very, very critical. Don't be afraid if you're not in touch with that particular friend for a long time or you had a fight in the past, just ask. Trust me, it really works. When you ask for help, more people will turn up uh, and more people will lend their hands than you might have imagined. Right. So number one option in job search is friends. The next best option I would say is job review sites. I would say I would put LinkedIn in the same category. One example I would like to give here is, which worked really well for me is Glassdoor, right? So I, I consider Glassdoor as preferred option for me than LinkedIn, right? So for me, Glassdoor will be number two and then LinkedIn will be number three. And obviously first is friends. While Glassdoor before LinkedIn, where I had a much uh, higher success rate through Glassdoor applications than LinkedIn, right? That's just my experience. Your experience could be slightly different, but then you can interchange this in order that you want, right? You can just apply on Glassdoor, right? They have the apply mechanism. You can uh, get the information about company, right? That's important, like the salary packages that they offer or, you know, their management, the reviews about the company, which is really, really helpful. Uh, when it comes to LinkedIn, just barely applying through LinkedIn uh, open jobs it doesn't really work much. So for me, what works much better on LinkedIn is the in-mail. So you find out the job openings on uh, LinkedIn job portal and then you again find out the HR person for that company, right? And write a short email to that person, you know, like a short cover letter, like, hey, I'm this and this, I'm interested in this position. Yeah, can you help or can you consider my resume and attach your resume, right? So that works much more than just plainly applying through the apply, you know, facility on LinkedIn. Because I remember I applied for about, you know, 40, 50 positions on LinkedIn and never got a single call back. Whereas on Glassdoor, that was like, if I applied for 10, then I used to get callbacks of, you know, at least two, three uh, companies, right? So that was the difference for me. You might want to get LinkedIn premium account if you are actively looking for a job, right? So that might help you. It gives you five free emails or something like that. One more thing LinkedIn really helps is that if you are on LinkedIn, it might be able to get you this thing. As I said, the number one option while searching for jobs is friends, right? You might make new friends on LinkedIn, right? And then apply through them, right? So that's one more thing that's uh, useful about LinkedIn. Certain companies take the applications through their company portals much more seriously than LinkedIn apply. But in order to know about this company portal, you will still have to go to, you know, LinkedIn uh, jobs, LinkedIn open jobs, 
and you might get the URLs of this uh, company portals through that. So some companies really take applications on their portals much more seriously than LinkedIn uh, applications. So check that out. Uh, again, same thing can be done through Glassdoor. You might get a company portal URL through Glassdoor and work through that. So keep in mind that if you like, if you really, really like a company, try to apply through company portal or try to contact the HR person of that uh, organization on LinkedIn or both are not working then might you might as well apply through Glassdoor. So that is in case you don't have a friend who works in that company that you really like, go through company portal or uh, email to HR person on LinkedIn or apply through Glassdoor in that order. Next best option would be startup uh, job sites are much much better option than your normal job sites. The pros of going to angel.co is uh, great info about startups, right? Uh, then you have a possibility to connect with CEOs or CTOs, in-app communication for those startups. So you can send messages to these uh, CEOs and CTOs. So that's really good. I had a much better success rate of landing interviews through uh, angel.co than LinkedIn or let's say indeed.com or shine.com or general generic job sites, right? So I just gave this one example, angel.co, but there might be other startup job sites. So make sure that you explore more uh, websites like this. Remember startup job sites is the category. Angel.co is one example, but uh, please make sure that you explore more of this. With that, we come to the last option that is generic job site. So examples would be indeed.com or shine.com or you know, in India we have something called as nokri.com. I would highly recommend that this should be your last, last option. So if nothing is working, no friend is getting back to you, LinkedIn is not working, Glassdoor is not working, uh, startup job sites are not working, then probably you will come back here. Uh, the problems with these job sites, unprofessionalism. These are more or like run by agents. So they are looking for their commission. It's like they would recommend jobs which are in complete different set of technologies than you're looking for. Uh, they will negotiate with the company on behalf of you. They will call you all day long, anytime with jobs you are not interested in. So it's just, my problem with this thing is it's just too much wastage of time on this job sites. So as I said, all the options that we discussed prior to this are much more efficient. But in case none of them work, then we don't have any choice but to go for these people, right? They did not work for me, but that doesn't mean that they will not work for everybody. So yeah, be my guest. If, if you want to try them, you can. But I would recommend this should be your last option. So now we are done with self prep. Then we talked about job search. And let us now assume that through one of your friends, you were shortlisted for this cool job in this amazing product startup, right? So now it's time to talk about interview process. So that's what we're going to discuss in the next part of this video series, where we'll talk about interview process, you know, negotiation and all these things. See you in the next session.